How excited were you to come back and be a part of this sequel after the first one was so wildly successful? Honored. It's a great experience, you know? You get to work with like a fine animation house like Illumination. You know, it's Universal NBC. It's gigantic. It's a gigantic opportunity. And, uh, and I was also happy to see where they wanted to go with this one as well. It's like, wow. They outdo themselves every time, so it's cool. What, what did they want to do with the music in this one? Tell me about sort of their overall wishes for how it should sound. The overall theme for this one is in a much more happier place. I mean, there's a lot of action and there's a lot of ups and downs, but overall it was a more happier place and that's where the song Happy comes from. That song is great. I Thank mean, you. It really just it matched the tone of the picture so well and it's Thank just you. a great song on its own too. Thank you. Tell me about the... Um, you know, writing that song and, and having it match the picture and, and the style of the song? Mm, again, I, I, I took direction from the overarching theme, which is a much more happier place. And, uh, you know, it's awesome to be able to make a song that, like, you know, maybe, like, when you're feeling down, you can just play it and you feel a whole lot better. So uh, the fact that it serves a purpose for the film is awesome, but the fact that, like, you can also use it aside from the film works, too. Like, it's just... And all cool. the songs seem really soulful. Mm -hmm. And was that like a deliberate, you know, was that... Yeah, a, they asked for, they wanted to be more soulful. Um, because it matched uh, where they wanted to go. And was that fun for you as an artist? Yeah, to, yeah. Is that yeah. somewhere you, you like to be? Is in that I'm not territory? sure that I had done much soulful things in, in a minute. So it was cool to like, to go into that world and find new interesting things that I, things that I hadn't done. The, uh, what's the other song? Um, just a Cloud Away. Yes. Tell me about that song. And, and uh, That is just like, you know, the whisper of hope that everyone gets when things are like not going right. You know, you just get that whisper of hope from somewhere. And uh, if you believe in it and you keep pushing forward and keep your head down and keep yourself in your work and and whatever it is, whatever adversity uh, is just just a cloud, it's, and, it, and, the, and, the, and the sun is just a cloud away. Have you seen the finished film yet? I've not. I've just seen like big portions of it, just you know, uh, from a working standpoint. But um, I look forward to seeing it on the third. I went to a screening last night that was packed with men and women and children, and everybody was laughing and loving it and dancing to some of the songs, like especially on the way out. Um, so how does it feel to be a part of something that, you know, even the sequel seems to be just as satisfying as the first one, if not more? It's, it's insane, man. It's awesome. It really is. As a musician, um, is it a different process for you to write songs for films? No, it's the same process. It's just different criteria and different directives. You know, for a film, um, you sort of have to like make sure your work is contoured and harmonious to the point and uh, the in the intention of the the writer and the director. Uh, but for songs, it's more like you just want to achieve the overarching over overarching theme for what you're trying to achieve and. Uh, it's a much more truncated version, you know, it's three minutes and 30 seconds versus like an hour and change. So. And the song Happy, that's a single now, that's out. What, what does that song mean to you and just personally? Just being in a really great space and just wanting to push that theme, you know, because I know that like, we as listeners, we as the audience, we want that. We want to be happy again. There's just so much going on in the world. And, you know, you hear about all the things that are happening. You know, the internet has connected us in such a good way in a lot of ways. But, you know, some of the bad comes with it is that you got to hear about all the travesty everywhere. And I think, you know, humanity, you know, seven billion person species is just ready to be happy again.